गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल दिस इज स्वप्ना वेलकम टू मिशन लर्निंग वीडियो टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज बेईज थेरम एंड कॉन्सेप्ट लर्निंग सो बेईज थेरम प्रोवाइड ए प्रिंसिपल वे टू कैलकुलेट द पोस्टीरियर प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ईच हाइपोथिस सो हियर इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर यूजिंग दैट इज एज ए बेसिस to calculate the post probability of each possible hypothesis and then output see most probable hypothesis so what is our concept bayesian theorem provides the principal method to calculate the posterior probability here we are using that is as a basis and finding the posterior probability for every hypothesis and outputting the most probable one so here use it that as a basis method and what is the straight forward method he used here is to find the most probable hypothesis is brute force bayes concept learning here we are using brute force bayes concept learning to find out the most probable hypothesis so for this here we are using the notations of just like as we used in the concept learning so considering the finite hypothesis space that is represented with the capital h that is represented with the capital h and instance space that is represented with the capital x and target concept c represented with the c and that value is within the boolean function of 0 and 1 and every instance is a training example are represented with the ordered pair of instance and desired out x1 comma d1 d1 is the desired output x1 is the every instance in the instance space and the target values are represented like this di is equal to c of xi di is the desired target value that is target concept that is if it is equals to the target concepts and simplifying the discussion all the instances are represented with x1 to x7 and training data total training data is represented with the capital d uh, within this training data sequence of target values are represented with d1 to dm so these are the notations generally we used in concept learning also the same notations we are using for this brute force bayes concept learning so here we said we use we will use uh, to find out the most probable hypothesis we are using the basis theorem as uh, base um, as base for to find out that one so bayes theorem within the bayes theorem posterior probability to calculate the posterior probability we will use this formula and also to find out the most probable hypothesis within the all the possible hypothesis to find out that here we are using the formula of h map maximum a posterior hypothesis so it will represent the highest posterior probability so that formula also we are using this one so these are these two formulas are acting as a basis to find out the most probable hypothesis so to specify the learning problem for the brute force map learning algorithm we must need to know to find out the best most best probable hypothesis we must we are we must know the p of h value and p of dh value we may choose the probability distributions for the p of h and p of dh d p of d by h in with any any type of uh, formula to describe this prior knowledge about this learning task is here we are using the some assumptions so to as to get the values of p of h and p of d by h we are taking some assumptions in this brute force bayes learning algorithm so these are the assumptions complete training data capital d is nice free so every desired output is equals to the target concept value this is the first assumption taken second assumption is target concept c is contained within the hypothesis space only whatever the target concept value we are getting that is contained in the hypothesis space only this is also second as assumption Uh, we are taking to choose the values of p of h and p of d by h and third assumption is we have no a we have no a priori reason to believe that any hypothesis is more probable than the other we are doesn't have the any reason to consider one hypothesis is more probable than the other hypothesis which is present in a hypothesis space so we are taking these three assumptions to 
get the value of p of h and p of d by h these two values are used to get the most probable hypothesis so depending upon these three assumptions we are writing p of h as 1 by the modulus of capital h here we already know small h represents the every hypothesis capital h represents the total hypothesis space so the we assume the target concept contained in capital h only and prior probabilities of all these hypothesis summation is equals to the one so depending upon our assumptions p of h is equals to this value and one more Uh, depending upon that as a assumption so the p of d by h is equal to 1 if desired value and target hypothesis value is equal, equals that means if it is a consistent if it is a consistent in capital d if desired value is equals to the target hypothesis value then it is a p of d by h is equal to 1 and z otherwise zero that we can specify with the one sentence when d is constant p of d by h value is 1 and p of d by h value is zero when d is inconsistent so here uh, we know the value of p of h and p of d by h so we are substituting these values to find out the mode Uh, posterior hypo uh, posterior probability in this way is there so we said two possibilities are there so we are finding posterior probability with the d is consistent and with the d is inconsistent when d is inconsistent then uh, we substituted a value of p of d by h is by a is equal to zero and p of h by p of d h so zero multiplying with these values that means we are getting the zero if h is inconsistent with the d and we are considering one more the one more possibility if h is consistent with the d then what is the posterior probability means p of d by h we will get the one and p of h already we know depending upon the assumptions one by modulus of h by divided by p of d so here we in this uh, to find out the posterior probability p of d is replaced by this formula if you are replaced by this formula then you will get the posterior probability with the hypothesis consistent with the d is 1 by vs of vs of h comma d what is vs version space and why we replaced p of d with this values means this why i am calculating like this here where vs of h comma d is a subset of hypothesis from the h and that are consistent with the d vs already we know version space of h which h with respect to d so that we calculated by using the candidate elimination algorithm in previous units already we know uh, how, how how we are calculating the version space of particular hypothesis uh, version space of a hypothesis particular hypothesis space with respect to the given training examples that we calculated in previous units with the by using the candidate candidate elimination algorithm so here easy to verify that one whatever the version space over the capital hypothesis over the total hypothesis space that we are represented as a p of d here so to calculate the p of h by d we replaced the p of d by this and it also considering that one all the hypotheses are mutually exclusive to represent that one we used the notation of list the like this for all i is not equals to say p of h of i conjunction p of conjunction h of j is equal to zero that means whatever the hypothesis present in a version space are all mutually exclusive mutually exclusive which are present in a total hypothesis space capital h once again we are showing that one if we are p of d how we are getting p of d is h of i belongs to the capital h and p of d by h into p of h by summation of all this and here we are having the two to get this summation of this p of d that means what are the hypothesis total version space to find out that one we are um, using the two methods that is the hypothesis is consistent with the d and hypothesis is not inconsistent with the d so that's why we replace the p of d by h with the one whenever hypothesis is consistent with the 
captain uh, assistant with the training that p of h i is replaced by this and here we are considering hypothesis is inconsistent then it will become the zero then what is the total value and this is the formula for this p of t by p of t like this we will get so total hypothesis which are present in this that we are considering in the version space for the total hypothesis so we do by replacing all this what we get posterior probability like this if hypothesis is consistent with the d then we will get the posterior probability is like this 1 by vs h comma d otherwise zero by summarization we got this one so i am concluding this topic by this slide and we'll continue next topic in the next video thank you